Hello there. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule office hours or other virtual appointments with your students inside Canvas. This may have changed for some of you with a recent upgrade from ConferZoom to the VVC Zoom in Canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my meetings in Zoom. So I'm going to go to the Zoom website, which I already have open here. Doesn't matter where you go, zoom.us, confer zoom, uh, vvc-edu.zoom. Doesn't matter, however you normally would log into the Zoom web interface. And then I'm going to click on meetings, which is already highlighted here. And over on the right-hand side, I'm going to schedule a meeting. I'm gonna call this office hours. And then in the description, just so that I know what it is, I'm going to put office hours for spring 2021. I'm going to go ahead and schedule the first one, which I'm going to schedule for tomorrow. I'm going to schedule that from 10 a.m. So I'll scroll down here and find 10, or you could just type in the 10. And then I'm going to say that I'm going to do this for four hours. Then right here, I'm going to click on the recurring meeting tab. I'm going to tell it that this is going to be weekly. And I'm going to say, let's, for for the fun, I'm going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm going to do this till the end of May. So I'll click a date at the end of May. I'm going to leave the passcode here. I'm going to leave the waiting room turned on. That way, students can't just pop in or other people can't just pop in. Then I'm going to come down here. Um, however you normally set your settings up, if you want an alternate host to be available, um, if your team teach in a class or something, you can add them in here. And then I'm going to click on Save. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and copy my link invitation. So I'm just going to copy that, copy meeting. That's not actually what I want to do. I want to just copy this. I don't want to copy the entire invitation. I just want to copy the link. I'm going to come back over to my Canvas, which you see I'm already logged in here. I'm going to click on the calendar on the left-hand toolbar there. I'm going to click on a date. I'm going to start with that Tuesday because that was the first day that I had picked. And then I'm going to click appointment group, right? So then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to call this office hours with Tim, just for the fun of it. In location, I'm going to paste that link that I just made. Under calendars, I'm going to select all the calendars that I want this to be published in and click done. So I just clicked all those classes because that way you don't have to recreate this for each class. Now, if you wanted to, you certainly could. Then I'm going to come over here. It's already got tomorrow's date there. I'm going to put the same times here that I put for my Zoom link. Now, you'll see that this is creating it in military time. Now, here I can't really do reoccurring. So I'm just going to go through and pick these times. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you can see it's pretty easy. I just click on the field after I've already done it once and it copies over um, my information. Now I got to go to March here. And I'm just going to stop there. You see how that goes. Then here, um, I'm going to leave the default set to divide into equal slots of 30 minutes. And then I'm going to click on go. Now that'll split those four hour meetings up into 30 minute chunks on the calendar. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the limit each time slot to one user. Now, if you're expecting groups, you can increase that, but I'm just going to leave it at one. If you want your students to see who's got a time slot, you can click that. If not, if you don't want them to see who's on a certain time slot, then you don't need to click that. And you can um, limit them to only one or not, and for office hours, I'm not going to, but if you were scheduling like assessments or something, then you might want to. And then I'm gonna click on publish. And that's just gonna take a minute to publish all those over. All right, now you can see that they self-populated in my calendar. Now let's go look at the student view. So I'm gonna click on my courses here, click on my, my ASB class, do the student view, and again, I'm going to click on calendar over here on the left hand side. You see they don't show up, but now they have this link that says find appointment. So if they click on that, and since this is the only course that I'm showing right now on the student view, uh, if I was had multiple classes that this student was enrolled in, you'd see more classes there. Click on submit. And now 
all these office hours come up. So I can now click on this reserve, put a comment in here if I wanted to, boom. Now that's gonna not be available for another student to reserve, but now that student is registered with you for those office hours. And they have their link and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your IT team. You can reach Tim, that's me, um, at Tim, T-I-M dot I-S-B-E-L-L -L, at V-V-C dot E-D-U. You can also call me at 760-245-4271, extension 2488. You may also reach out to the help desk at extension 2740. Again, if you have any other questions, please let us know.